Now, tourism accounts for roughly 7% of the 2.3 trillion euro French economy. Nearly 90 million people came to France on holiday in 2018, making it the most visited country in the world. About 50 million of those visitors typically come to Paris in a given year. Now, the French government in May announced an 18 billion euro rescue plan for the tourism industry that includes support for paying the 70% of salaries of furloughed workers, uh, 1.3 billion euros in direct cash and 2 billion euros in tax exemptions, uh, small businesses with 20 employees or fewer, and less than 2 million euros in revenues can apply for grants of up to 10,000 euros. And that, of course, is part of the 500 billion euros that President Macron last night pointed out the government has mobilized to save the French economy. Now, as restrictions have been lifted, the government's been trying to encourage domestic tourism, uh, calling on French citizens to consider a bleu blanc rouge vacation on the colors of the French flag there. It looks like that may be resonating with the public. Uh, one industry group says just 20 percent of French holidays currently booked are for foreign destinations as compared with 66 percent normally. Now, still, Paris hotels are only about 25 percent booked for the summer, as opposed to their normal 70 percent rate by this time of the year. And the reason for that is that a huge chunk of uh, tourists in France, of course, come from uh, outside the EU, from the US, Asia, and Russia in particular. And for the moment, borders remain largely closed to those areas. Uh, the European Commission has re recommended opening external borders starting July 1st, but that will likely be dependent on the health situation in the countries of departure.